Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a fall fashion haul. Now it is still quite hot here in California, so a lot of these pieces are more on the transitional side, and I'll definitely need to be getting a few more things as the weather gets a little bit cooler, but I wanted to show you what I have so far. So I'm going to start off with H&M. I only have two things to show you, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen pictures of me wearing them, but I figured I would show you anyway. So the first thing is this really adorable cat skirt. And I actually wore this recently to BeautyCon and I posted pictures. I just wore it with a black American Apparel crop top and a necklace that I'll show you in a second. This was $17.95 and I purchased a size small. Yes, the tag's still on there. Apparently I wore this the whole day at BeautyCon and didn't realize that I hadn't taken the tag off yet. But nobody said anything so I don't think anyone noticed. That happens to me all the time. I always forget to take the tags off so that happened. But anyway, I think this is really cute. It's a really stretchy material and very flowy. It's got an exposed zipper on the back, but obviously the main selling point of this skirt for me was, of course, the cats. It's a really, really cute pattern, and I don't know. I definitely think that it's a nice quirky piece if you're looking for something that's a little on the fun side. They also have these skirts in plain colors as well, and I think one other pattern, but for obvious reasons, I did choose the cat one. And to go along with the cat skirt, I also picked this up, which you guys have probably also seen. This was the first thing that I had gotten from H&M. And this is probably like the most exciting thing I've ever gotten from H&M. This is a size small as well, and this was $24.95, so about $25, and I think it was definitely worth it. The sizing on this is a little bit strange. I purchased a small, but really it's very, very tight in the chest. So you might want to try this on. I tried the medium one as well, but it was just way too big in the waist and it made it kind of lose its shape. It's like an A-line dress, so you really want it to come in at the waist and flare out at the bottom and with the medium it just wasn't doing that for me. So keeping with the trend of Holly enjoying odd crazy cat lady clothing, I also picked up this skirt from Daily Look and this is going to be one of those pieces that you either love it or hate it. Personally, I feel like I understand that it's ugly kind of like it's a cute cut but the pattern is really ugly but that kind of makes it funny for me like not only do I like cats I just like cats but I also think it's like kind of funny because of the whole crazy cat lady thing so it's more of that I find it humorous versus I think that it looks really really good but they had this skirt and it was like just the ultimate in crazy cat lady I feel like you couldn't get any more crazy cat lady than this skirt unless you had like a blazer. It's this skirt right here and as you can see there's like a ton of like tapestry cats. This looks like it would be the ugliest pillow that like your aunt or your great grandmother would have or something like that. But it's a really cute cut and it's just really funny to me honestly. Now this skirt if you were planning on getting it I don't know how many of you out there would be interested in it but I feel like this skirt runs a little bit small. I have it in size medium and I think I could have even dealt with a large. Um, not that I needed it in the waist necessarily, but if you look at it, it's pretty short. Just on camera it looks short, but think of like a person being in it and then your butt and everything like that and it's even shorter. So before I go over the rest of the clothes that I picked up from Daily Look, I'm actually going to show you the shoes that I picked out because that's probably my favorite thing that I got from the website. So I'm pretty excited about that. The first pair, I think you guys may have seen already, I'm not sure, I think just on Instagram, but they are these shoes from Chinese Laundry, and if you haven't been on Daily Look for a while, they are international now, so you don't need to worry about that, but most excitingly, they started selling some brands that you might be familiar with, which I really appreciate because they are brands that I already purchased, that I already like, and I know how the sizing usually runs or how the quality is, so I was really, really happy that they started doing that. They are carrying Mink Pink. Dolce Vita, Chinese Laundry, and a couple other brands that I was pretty happy about. One Teaspoon, which I'm obsessed with, so I'll show you guys some of that in a second. Also, I will leave a link for you in the info box below for 20% off, and starting today, they are having their Labor Day sale, which is 30% off all tops, shorts, and sale items, so definitely feel free to check that out, and I'll also try to link all of the products that I show you in this video. You can't get the H&M stuff online, I already looked for that, but the Zara things that I'm going to show you and all of the daily look things should still be online. So anyway, I'll get into the shoes now. These are from Chinese Laundry and I believe these are the Jane's Way caged sandals or caged heels. I absolutely love these. They're so comfortable and the both of the pairs of Chinese laundry shoes that I'm going to show you are real leather. Um, it's not a full leather shoe so there's no like leather sole or anything like that. 
but the top part is leather and that's usually pretty standard for non luxury brands or non like super designer brands so I really really like these I was so impressed with how comfortable they are I wore them all day walking around the mall and just I just can't get over how comfortable they are I did find them to run true to size so I got these in a size 7 and they're just like one of my favorite things right now. This is the thing that I would probably recommend the most out of everything that I'm going to show you in this whole video. I am so in love with these shoes and they look good with everything so I really like that. I also got them in the brown color which I don't seem to like as much. When I saw them I thought I wanted them because I liked the black ones so much but I'm not finding that these match quite as well or they don't look as good with things as the black ones do but I usually like to wear brown if I'm wearing like lighter denim or destroyed denim or something like that so the next pair that I picked out is also from Chinese Laundry and they're very very similar to the ones that Zara has out right now which originally is why I wanted them because the Zara ones had gotten sold out they're back in stock now but um, I actually like the way these look on a little bit better I was looking at a lot of blog posts and Instagram posts and it seems like the Zara ones kind of have extra space in the toe right here so when people have them on I notice that their actual toe is like right here and then the shoe is like that much longer which kind of makes it look like your shoes don't fit right so I'm definitely a fan of these and again it's a leather upper I believe yeah I don't know I like these I don't like them as much as the caged gladiator style sandals and these are also a little bit more expensive but if you wanted something this style I definitely think that they're cute they don't look as good with the things that I wanted to wear them with as the cage sandals do but these will look really great with jeans and stuff like that so I got them in the black and then of course I also got them in the brown and you can actually see the detail I think probably a little bit better on the brown ones but I don't know I'm totally obsessed with anything that laces up or is kind of like caged looking right now you'll see it in a lot of the shoes that not only I'll show you here but things that you'll probably see on Instagram and stuff like that I've probably only purchased like these type of caged or lace-up shoes so really really obsessed with that and then on the less expensive side of the shoe spectrum I also picked out a couple pairs from the brand Cupid which I've had shoes from this brand before the first ones look like this and again they're like that same cage style I don't know if you can really see the detail on it I'll try and put a picture of what it looked like with the model wearing them so you can get a better idea of it but I really really like these these are not as comfortable but they're still pretty comfortable I think just because it's like a closed toe and then a heel so your foot slides forward a little bit I haven't worn these walking around only in my house so I can't really say for sure but they seemed alright comfort wise another thing I wanted to mention about these though is that they do run about half a size small which I feel like a lot of Cupid's shoes do not all of them because the ones I'm going to show you next run true to size but these did run half size small so keep that in mind and then the next pair you've also seen on Instagram, I Instagrammed a picture of like all of these lined up, but they just look like this, and this is like a cutout kind of boot, I suppose. Very, very similar to the Jeffrey Campbell ones that I have. Jeffrey Campbell only made them in black, um, but I figured the brown would be good and pretty versatile for like jeans and stuff like that. And this is actually way more comfortable than the Jeffrey Campbell one. The Jeffrey Campbell one is leather upper and I think it's got a leather footbed this one is totally synthetic but it's a lot more comfortable and I don't think that they look like so cheapy fake leather either it's pretty soft and I feel like they are I, I feel like they would be passable as like a leather shoe so I really like these and like I said they're more comfortable than the Jeffrey Campbell ones for sure and again I took my true size in this so I got these in a size 7 so those are all the shoes that I picked out. I also purchased some from Nine West, but they haven't gotten to me yet, so I couldn't show you them in this video. But if you're interested, I can show them in another video, or again on Instagram or Facebook or my blog or something like that. So I'm going to go right back into clothes, and I still have a few more pieces to show you from Daily Look. So one of the things that I picked out are these long, kind of asymmetrical drapey skirts. I don't know if you can see that actually on camera. But I'll show you the gray one so you can kind of see. Um, I really, really like these. Again, it's hard for me to show you this because it's so long, but absolutely in love with them. They're really soft. Think of it as like a long maxi skirt, but with a little bit more of a flare. It reminds me very much of like old school Mariah. I actually had seen skirts like this on my friend Crystal's blog, and that's really why I wanted... I don't know why I wanted them in the first place because they look so good on her. I think the ones that she had on her blog though were like 50 something dollars and I left the page up on my 
web browser for like weeks and I was gonna buy it but I was like oh 50 something dollars I didn't know if I wanted to spend that especially since it's not something that I feel like you'll be able to wear really year after year after year not that I think that this trend will never come back I just feel like it's gonna be one of those things that's really like in and out and I think there's gonna be a lot of years in between when it comes back in style so I didn't want to invest that much in them so I really like these and I'm happy with them and a couple other skirts that I picked out well this is not really a skirt it's like a skirt. if you are familiar with the Zara asymmetrical skirts, um, Daily Look also has a couple of those I think they have them in black white and cobalt so this is what the black one looks like um, you really probably can't even see the detail on it but very similar to that I'll show you the cobalt one even though I wasn't gonna show this in a haul because it's not very fallish I don't think but just so you can see the detail I actually have the Zara one in white that I purchased from there and it was like 50 or 60 dollars and I just thought that that was way too expensive for such a trendy piece I don't think that this is gonna be in style for that long honestly um, but I did really like the way it looks I have a lot of blogger friends and I follow a lot of bloggers so of course I got kind of suckered into it so I was happy to find a less expensive version um, from daily look but these do run different than the Zara one in the Zara score I have that in a size small and those run pretty big I would say that even the small in that is big on me and I usually will take usually will take mediums in bottoms so I did get these in a size medium not that the small didn't fit but they're a lot shorter than the Zara one so keep that in mind for me to wear the small it was almost like I don't know it looked kind of like booty shorts in the back so I definitely opted for the medium and I don't know I'm pretty happy with it I also got a couple of dresses but I don't want to take too long to elaborate on these just because it's not really fall too much of a fall piece for a lot of people but I have this dress from line and dot it's a really pretty rust color with like a roughly kind of sleeve or like not quite a sleeve and then the back is kind of open and it goes pretty low now personally I'm not typically a fan of anything with a low back or an open back I just feel uncomfortable I feel like naked and there's like a breeze back there so uh, I don't usually like things with an open back like that but I loved the way this dress looked on so much that I did decide to go ahead with it I'll probably just wear my hair down when I wear this or I don't know maybe I could do like a tank underneath or like a bandeau or something but um, I really really like this dress on and I think that the color is appropriate for fall it's just you know not everyone lives somewhere where they can wear something that's like sleeveless so the next dress is one that is going to be another kind of hit or miss for people because it's definitely not something that everyone would like. I didn't even really like it at first, but after I tried it on, I, I liked it. And I was told that this is a pretty popular item on their site or on Instagram or something like that. So this is a dress that looks very like East Coast to me. Not that there's, I don't know, it just seems very like fall in the East Coast type of thing. I don't know, but it's very, very flattering on. It's tighter in the waist for me and then the bust part is the part that I feel like fits me pretty well because it's got this little hole in the back so I don't know I feel like the front fits better sometimes if the back is more open and then it goes to like an A-line bottom which I really like for me that usually is what suits my body style or my body type the best and then it's got this little kind of pattern on the bottom. This is again like a weird dress, but I really like the way it feels, the way it fits, and the way it looks on. Although I will say, um, I have worn this, I just went to California Chicken Cafe, but I did feel a little bit strange in this dress because it's not very like LA style or like California style, but I don't know, I just really like it, I don't know. Not everyone's gonna like that one, but I do. And then the last dress is not very fall at all, but I did recently wear this to um, the Tarte event. If you guys saw pictures on my Instagram or anybody else's Instagram, this is the dress that I was wearing. And this is from Dolce Vita, which is a brand that I normally do really like. This dress, I was very in between sizes, I feel like. I had tried on the small and it fit, but I felt like I couldn't really walk easily in it. I felt like it was very tight across my hips and like my butt, so I went ahead and I ordered the medium, but now I feel like the medium's really too big because when I had it on, it was kind of like bunching on the sides and stuff. You can actually see it in the pictures. It was like not fitting me that well, um, but 
I think that I still was better with going with a little bit too big because I can always get it taken in and tailored. If it's too small, it's harder to let it out. So I'm definitely going to need to get this altered. And in the picture, I wore it with this necklace which is also from Daily Look. It's like a chain with a triangle on it, and it actually looks really nice. I wouldn't have thought that I would wear this with something like this, but you can see the pictures, and I felt like this actually really went with a lot of the shapes that were going on in the dress. So that's what I wore um, for jewelry with this dress, and I also wore this same necklace with the cat skirt and when I had the black crop top from American Apparel. Um, originally when I picked this out, I thought I was just going to be wearing it with like graphic tees and tanks, but it's been going with a lot more stuff than I expected it to, and the chain has a nice weight to it. Um, this part is plastic, but it's not like super flimsy plastic. I wish it was glass, but what can you do? So I like that. That's actually the only jewelry piece that I picked out from Daily Look this time because, I don't know, I've been trying to cut back on the accessories. I feel like I have so much stuff, and really when's the last time you saw me wear anything other than like studs or you know whatever so I did also get some denim I picked up a couple of the one teaspoon awesome baggies which are super popular right now especially if you follow a lot of fashion bloggers I was very skeptical of these though because I do have like thicker legs so I feel like a lot of things that are supposed to be baggy or like boyfriend style just end up looking like regular jeans on me. So I ordered the awesome baggies in one size up for my normal jean size and it seems to be working. It's a little bit big on the waist but it's tighter across the hips and the butt so I wouldn't be able to like pull them down or anything. Not a perfect fit on me but I do like them. I'm gonna try to work with them and style them. I have three different colors. Two of them I got from Daily Look and one of them I'll leave the link for in the info box. This one is in the color Fiasco. And this is the lighter denim wash. As you can see, they're super destroyed, and then you just kind of cuff the bottoms, and you can wear them with heels or whatever you want to. I think they look best with like a strappy heel. That way they don't look too masculine. I like to kind of have like a delicate shoe to kind of balance it out. So I got these, and then from Daily Look, the other colors that I got were, I think, Classic Blue and Smoke. Let me take a look. Yeah, these are Classic Blue. And they're just a little bit darker of a wash. So that's what those look like. I will insert a picture of what they're supposed to look like on because they don't look exactly like that on me. I'm sure when it gets cool enough for me to wear these, I will post a picture on my blog or on Instagram or something to show you how I style it. But as of right now, it's really like way too hot to be wearing that. The smoke color is probably my least favorite. I don't think these look as great on me as I was hoping that they would. So I might return these, I'm not sure, but that's what they look like in case you're wondering. So there's that. Now one teaspoon is a little on the pricier side. I love all their stuff though. I feel like they're just destroyed perfectly and typically they feel pretty good. I've got a ton of shorts from one teaspoon. They were like the thing that I lived in all summer. They do have one pair of one teaspoon shorts on Daily Looks website, but that's that's all they have. I think there's probably like six different styles all together from the line. The one that they have on Daily Look is called the Bonitas. And they just look like this. They're frayed and all of that. They're longer in the back, so that's good because it covers your butt. It comes down a lot longer in the back, so you don't have to worry about that. But um, I'm not going to talk about the shorts too much because shorts weather is over for most people, I think. Now again, like I was saying, one teaspoon can be a little bit pricey. So if you want kind of like boyfriend destroyed jeans like that, but you don't want to spend as much, Daily Look also has these. This was the first pair that I had gotten before my one teaspoon ones came in. And I really like them. These are not as baggy on me, but if you've got skinny legs, they probably would be baggier on you. Um, the destroyed is not quite as much so if you want something that's not so destroyed you might like this and these also have a bit of stretch to them. So I like that. I've worn these a couple times, washed them, they've washed beautifully, none of the destroyed stuff got ruined and I just threw them in the washer and the dryer so I'll leave the link to those because I don't know what those are called. I think they're just kind of like some miscellaneous brand. Alright, so I promise we're almost done. I just have a couple of sweaters and things to show you and that is it. So these two are the last two things I have to show you from Daily Look. The first one is this sweatshirt that has 
this rose embroidery all over it. It's kind of a cropped sweatshirt, but I've got a short torso, so it's not really cropped on me. It's just shorter. It looks like a sweatshirt, but it doesn't have the fuzzy inside, so it's more of like a long sleeve type thing. But I really, really like that. I thought that was cute. And I remember what this is called, like this kind of embroidery, if it's cross stitch or something. But it actually is like done all the way through. If you look on the back, it's actually stitched through. It's not just like a patch that they ironed on or anything like that. So I appreciate that. And I got this in a size small. And then the last sweater that I got from Daily Look is actually from Mink Pink, which is a brand that I like already. So I was so excited that they started carrying this brand. They've got a couple of dresses on the website too that I want to get. Um, but I got this in a size small, and it's just basically a loose-fitting cream and blue kind of nautical style sweater. It's longer in the back, so that's great if you wanted to wear it with like destroyed shorts, like the ones that I showed you, that's what I've been wearing it with. Or if you wanted to wear it with like leggings or something, or jeans that'll cover your butt, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but I've worn this a couple times, and it's worn and washed well. I haven't had any complaints about it, but I didn't think that I would because I like this brand anyway. So. There's that. I think on the website they have this sweater style with that gray asymmetrical skirt. I personally wouldn't wear it like that, but it's definitely an option. I'll try to put in a picture for you. Next, I have a couple things from Zara and one thing from Forever 21. But before I get into it, this sweater is something that I also bought for fall. I actually purchased this at Target and it was $22.99 and I have this in a size small. I don't know if this is a hedgehog or... I think it's a hedgehog or a porcupine. I don't know. I, I almost felt like, why do I want this? I don't have a particular attachment to hedgehogs or porcupines, regardless of what it is, but I just felt like the color was so nice. This I like this type of like pink or like salmon-y color. I think it looks nice on me. I don't know. I feel weird saying that, but I do think it, it's I like the color on me. Um, and also it's a slim fitting sweater which I really appreciate because I find a lot of sweaters that are like this one that are kind of just loose and bulkier and they're not always the most flattering. If you're going for that look or if you wanted to wear it with something like destroyed jeans or destroyed shorts or something like that, it's great. But sometimes I like to wear sweaters that are a little bit more fitted and can kind of show off your figure a bit more. I feel like you feel skinnier. So um, I really appreciate that. And the sleeves are long enough. I really like this sweater. I don't know if you'll still be able to find it though because this was the last small one I went and I got it and I, that was like a couple weeks ago. So. Anyway, now on to the stuff from Zara. I'll stick with kind of like sweatshirt stuff. I picked this one up two days ago and I really, really like this. This was more expensive than I would normally prefer to spend, but I got this in a size small and it was $49.90, but I thought it was just really different. It's like kind of a sweatshirt, but then it's got this really delicate print to it. It's like, I guess it's gray and cream or like gray and oatmeal, but when I bought it, I actually thought it was blue. Is it gray or is it blue? I feel like it's got a bluish tint. So I really like that. Then I got this jacket, which I think is really nice and I think a lot of you guys will like as well. And this is something that I could see being good if you live on the East Coast or, or the West Coast. So it's just this navy motorcycle jacket. It's got gold detailing, different detailing on each side, and it's got a ton of stretch to it. I got this in a size small, and this was pretty expensive. This was $89.90, but again, I think that this is pretty timeless. I think that I'll have this for a long time. So the way they had this styled when I saw it in stores was they had a really loose fitting drapey white tank top and then really destroyed light denim boyfriend jeans which is pretty much what I was wearing when I went shopping so of course I wanted to try it on and I really liked the way it looked um, so I went ahead and got it but yeah I think this is something that would be great for wherever you live as far as weather wise. And then the last item that I have to show you is actually from Forever 21 and to be honest I've not been finding anything from there that I've been liking but I was kind of on a hunt for this type of jacket and this was the only one that I could find and I did like the weight that it had to it. So I got this in a size small and it was pretty expensive. It was about $47.90 or $47.80 or something like that. So almost $50 but it was pretty much exactly what I was looking for and I liked 
the feel of the material. It's got some studding on the shoulder and on this one pocket, and this is actually a functional pocket, so you can put stuff in there if you wanted to. It also has a pocket on the side. I rolled up the sleeves because I felt like it just looked better that way, but I've worn this a couple times. Again, this is something that I like to wear with like cut off shorts or destroyed denim, and I think on Instagram I had styled it with like a graphic tank, but um, I don't know. I like that. They do still have it online. I purchased this in store, but I know I linked this on my blog when I posted my outfit, so I will grab that link for you and put it in the info box as well. So that's everything that I picked up so far. If you hung in there and are still watching this video, thank you so much. I feel like it was so long, even though I didn't think it was that much stuff originally. Let me know if for future hauls you'd like it for me to break the videos up into different categories so like shoes in one and then like maybe jackets and sweaters in another or something like that. I think also if I'm talking about less products I can probably show you a little bit better or spend more time on each product. Let me know what you guys would want. I normally don't do hauls anyway um, but I've been getting a lot of requests for more fashion videos and fashion hauls so I wanted to go ahead and do that for you again if you're interested in seeing what any of these look like on you can follow me on my Instagram Twitter or my blog because I've been trying to post more outfit pictures there um, I've not been doing like my big camera pictures I've only been doing like bathroom shots pretty much but you still get the gist of what the outfit is the reason why I haven't been doing those types of videos is because I actually got in trouble I was taking the pictures outside the apartment complex and I, for some reason they said that I can't take pictures outside there so hopefully you guys will enjoy my blogs anyway I'm trying to keep it a little bit more fashion based but it ends up being same as here like whatever I feel like posting that day will just get posted so there's some beauty stuff I posted like my favorite MAC blushes and all that um, which I can do a video on too if you're interested in but I just like to do kind of quick little posts like that there and then of course if I've got an outfit that I like I'll post that up too so check that out if you are interested I'll leave the links in the info box below other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this video I should have my hits and misses and my empties up pretty soon because it's getting towards the end of the month but I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and I will talk to you very soon bye